The mountain certainly is impressive up close. Yeah, I can see why they call it Spirit Crest. But still, dragons? Probably just a story some bard made up. Certainly the last time I was here, there was never any sign of one. You mean on your journey with the previous shepherd? Hey, uh, let's play a game. Pick a number, one through ten. Got you! It was twelve. She's off the rails. <sighs> Must be that pesky oath of hers again. Anyway, if there really were a dragon there, we wouldn't stand a chance against it. So what? If we run into one, we better hightail it out of there? Hopefully we don't run into one at all. Lila, you've been acting a little funny. Everything okay? Oh, sorry. I'm quite picky about the way things curl up into a tight ball. The way things curl up? Yes. It was the Armadillo Seraphim who taught me the true splendor of it. I'm disappointed in the Hallion we encountered. Very amateur hour. The Armadillo Seraphim? I'm kind of not following this. The Armadillo Seraphim. Arma Walt and Arma Langston. You know, the legendary three-time curling champions. No, I don't know. I'm kind of not at all following this. It was they who told me of the world's greatest curlist, Arma Dillon, who left years ago on a journey to master the curl. Wouldn't give to see that ultimate curl. It's my dream. Nicolio, is she okay? Something tells me we should just let this one slide. Yeah. Arma Dillon, where hast thou gone? This place sure is beautiful. I imagine the dragon legend keeps people away, so there isn't much chance for malevolence to accumulate. There's some sort of shrine as well. Seraphim do live here. Maybe all that talk about a dragon on the mountain was started intentionally by humans who were trying to protect the shrine. Hmm. Well, even if that's true, it doesn't look like it was very effective. Look at this. Someone left flowers. Proof that people ventured all the way up here. A shrine, and yet no seraphim in sight. It is a bit curious. A seraph doesn't usually wander far from the shrine where he's worshipped. Could the dragon have gotten him? Who can say? But if there really were a dragon here, I would expect far more malevolence in this area. We'll have to move on and find out. Yeah. What's with that guy? I kind of want to ask her about that guy just now. He's always just so... blasé. I also want to ask about that strange item he had. And what nerve! Being so scantily clad in front of a lady like that? Maybe now's not a good time to bother her. Good call. Hey you, Waterboy. You got a name? Nicleo, not Waterboy. Nicleo, not Waterboy? That's a new one. Call me what you like. Okay, Mebo. It's Miklio, all right? Miklio! <laughs> if you say so. Well, I see who runs this household. Yep. Whoa, what? Since when was this a household? Yeah! Can you guys not practice your comedy routines inside my head? Sorry, can I ask you something? Sure, what's up? You're being targeted by assassins, right? <sighs> sure looks like it. Did you cause someone to have a grudge with you? Like that unmalevolent assassin? Hmm, not that I can recall. So you have no recollection of it, but somehow you are targeted by an unmalevolent assassin who has a seraph dwelling in them? Well, I mean... I think it's just because I'm the Shepherd. Because you're the Shepherd, huh? So you were somehow targeted by an assassin who somehow by malevolence, which somehow possessed a Seraph which didn't turn into a Hellion. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> well, I'm glad you understand. So, basically you're totally clueless here. Pretty much. Oh, incredible. I suppose even a raging river is no trouble for a Shepherd. But you should still avoid using your powers in front of other people. Yeah, you're probably right. She is. If Earth Dwellers are there to freak out every time like this one does, I may slip my wrists. Sarah Fedna, I deeply regret my transgression. Yeah, you ought to. And we're already on a first name basis even though we just met. You're awfully rude, you know that? Please forgive me. If you're sorry, then do the Norman Karena as penance. The Nor- What now? You don't know it? How disrespectful. Please forgive me. If you're sorry, then do the Norman Karena as penance. Edna, don't infinite loop the squire. Lila, you understand that Edna is toying with Alicia, don't you? Do something. Sorry, I just thought maybe if they had a chance to talk together, they might, you know, become friends. 
Alicia, this is just how Edna is. You can't take anything she says seriously. Spoken like a true Mebo. What's a Mebo? You don't know? Then do that. Okay, enough. Is this a shrine to Seraphim? Yes. It used to be a vessel of some sort. Used to be, huh? Long ago, there were many minor shrines like these for spreading the blessings of the Seraphim. Indeed. It used to be there were throngs of people offering prayers. The numbers might have dropped some, but there's definitely still people who pray to the Seraphim. Oh yeah, like, remember the shrine at Edna's Mountain? Someone left flowers there, right? That was me. Huh? That shrine... A grave. A grave for all the humans my brothers killed. Oh... I didn't know. I don't need any sympathy. It's the human's own fault anyway. You hear about a dragon, you wander over to check it out, you get gobbled up. Simple as that. It... <laughs> oh, aren't you just the cutest thing? It's just a squirrel. No, don't you see? The fluffiness of the tail, it must be the Falcon squirrel. A rare sight indeed. Calm down. But look, it's so fluffy, poofy, adora, poofy. Don't tell me you're not moved by its precious little face. I'm not. Unlike you, I don't feel a need to ooh and coo over cute things to make others think I'm cute as well. W what No, th that's not at all- Shh! You'll frighten poor Poofy away. You're right. My apologies. If you're truly sorry, do the Squirrel Karena for me. The fluffy version. There's a Squirrel Karena? There's a fluffy version? Poor Alicia. She's so easy to toy with. Should we leave them like this? Understood, Miss Edna. Please teach me the Squirrel Karena. I wish to master this fluffy version. Are you sure? My training is very strict. I'm up for the challenge. I think it's all right. They look like they're having fun. True enough. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm fusing different types of equipment together. Oh, you mean the thing that's a royal pain and takes forever? By fusing equipment, you bring out its full potency and create something entirely new. Isn't it wonderful? Boy, I'll say. We Seraphim have plenty of time on our hands, so it's important to have hobbies. That's your hobby? That braised beef and potatoes we just had was delicious and oh so flavorful. It was my first time trying it as well, but it was delicious. Really? It's your first time? Oh, wait, right. I thought you always got to eat lavish food like this, Alicia. Like roasted rapig and fancy schmancy fruits, that sort of stuff. It's not like I eat like royalty every day, although I won't deny I am quite well fed. I'd never imagined that eating with friends like this could be so much fun. Happiness truly does lie within the nuances of everyday life, I suppose. Yeah, nothing like eating lots of good food with good friends. Definitely puts a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> A full stomach sh makes you sleepy, though. Let's rest up for tomorrow. Shall we return to our rooms? Yeah, good thinking. Good night. Good night. Uh, ha! You're working quite hard. Oh, sorry for being so loud at this hour of the night. It's fine. If anything, I'm reassured. Honestly, I don't think I could beat you. I'd always imagined that princesses enjoyed things like dancing in ballrooms and eating sweets. But I guess I was wrong. Not necessarily. Most princesses are usually like that, but that's just not me. I usually bring up reforms and stuff like that, even during those times, so I tend to get on Pat's side. I just want people to focus on the real issues in front of them. Alicia. Besides, this is just how I relieve stress, and I've become incredibly skilled with the lance as a result. Nonetheless, I must admit it wasn't the best idea to practice by myself in the middle of the night. Good night. In terms of her thoughtfulness and love for her country, she's truly an ideal princess. But... She seems like she's pushing herself pretty hard. Yeah, I'm a bit worried. So there's no Guardian Seraph here either. Looks like it. I don't want to assume that the entire world is like this, but... I think there are quite a lot of Seraphim who are less than fond of humans. Can it really be that hard for humans and Seraphim to coexist peacefully again? Do you really think that could happen? Must be nice living in a fantasy world. It isn't necessarily just a fantasy. But look at the reality. I understand that it may be difficult to achieve, sure. But in reality, there was a time like that in the past. There are records in the ruins and in the Celestial Record. 
When is this past you're referring to? Long, long ago. But even now, there are Seraphim like you, Edna. Huh? And we figured out that we could bring back the blessing as well. Yep. I think this is a step towards coexistence with the Seraphim and humans. I'll be counting on you, Edna. Selfish as ever. That's why I can't stand humans. Get used to it. Selfish types everywhere. Jeez.